everyone and welcome to our YouTube channel. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Gracie. I've worked for Magnolia for years now, but this is actually our first time kickstarting YouTube in a different way. As our community grows, we want to be able to offer you guys different forms of content, which is why we're using YouTube to cover all things beauty, health, and wellness. So don't be shy to comment down below on anything you may like to see over the next few weeks. With that being said, we did post a poll on Instagram last week and you guys voted to see a beach wave tutorial. So that is what we'll be doing today. I have used so many different curling irons over the years, so many different wands, but I will say that this wand from Dry Bar, it is called the Wrap Party, has never let me down. I've been using it for about two years now. I have used wands that are a fraction of this price and create a very comparable curl. So please do not feel like you need to go spend an insane amount of money to get a good beach wave. The thing I wanna say when picking out your wand for your beach wave is that try to find one that's actually bigger at the bottom instead of smaller. A lot of wands start with a bigger base and have a skinnier end, but when you're curling your hair, you should always be holding your wand upside down and you want the wave to start a little bit tighter and get looser as it goes down. So it's actually better if the bottom of your wand has a thicker base. Otherwise, you're gonna start with a really loose wave and then your ends are gonna be super tight and that's actually the opposite of what we want. So now that you've had a full seminar on picking the right iron, it is time to curl our hair. Let me take out this crazy bun. You guys are gonna get to witness the, the messy bun hair. So I showered and blow dried my hair because my hair holds curl best when I'm freshly showered. I know that is so different for everyone. So it really just depends on your hair type and what works for you. So I always start by sectioning off my hair. We are just going to split it into three sections. We will start with the bottom section. This is always the part where I look insane. <laughs> Get a nice big bun right on top of our heads. So once your curling iron is heated up, we are going to start with that bottom layer. Make sure your hair is nice and brushed out. Okay, we always are going to start and curl away from our face. So I take about a piece of hair that is this big and you wanna make sure that your hair is wrapping flat around your iron. So if it's if you take too big of a piece, you might notice that the layers of hair start to stack up on top of each other instead of laying flat to the iron and you won't get as good of a curl that way. Also, if you have heat spray, spray your hair with that. I forgot to mention that I sprayed heat protectant after I got out of the shower. And make sure you wear your glove because you could burn your fingers. What I do is I do leave a little piece of my hair at the end kind of out. And I know this looks silly, but I will leave it out and I will kind of just tap it around the bottom of the wand a few times. And then I always pull my curl like this when I'm done. I just feel like it kind of stretches the curl a little bit and then I'll kind of run my fingers through the curl. You really wanna make sure that you are starting your curl at the root of your head. You want the beach wave to start at your root and go all the way to your end. I'll show you the difference, right? So we started at our root there and we have a nice curl that goes from the root all the way down to our ends. If you're only curling the end of your hair like this, see the difference? If you leave that much space out, you're gonna miss out on the extra volume and you're gonna get just a little wave like that. And now that this side is curled, see that didn't take long at all, I will go in and spray with some texturizing spray this is from Oribe, I think that's how you say it. And it is their dry texturizing spray. Dry Bar actually has a really great texturizing spray as well. The great thing about texturizing spray is that you don't get that sticky finish that hairspray gives you. So it's nice to just spray with this until I'm done with all of my curls and then I'll go on with hairspray. But it's just a little bit lighter on the hair and it kind of creates a nice messy look. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side. techniques down, your beach waves will turn out effortless every time. It's so funny because I feel like this hairstyle, I mentioned this earlier, is labeled as effortless, but like, 
Come on, we are putting in a lot of effort here. Okay, layer two is done and we are going to spray it with our texturizing spray. I always like to pull up and then spray both sides of the curls. Give it a nice toss. It should look a little messy. Every curl doesn't have to be perfect. Some will be tighter than the others. This is what we have so far. And now it is time for our third section. Okay, we are on the final section of our hair. You guys know the drill. I need to see photos of your guys' beach waves too. So if you follow this tutorial and you take a photo afterwards, please tag me. My Instagram handle is at Gracie underscore Norton and also tag Magnolia Boutique so we can share your guys' wonderful beach waves. And we will finish off our beach waves with a nice little tease because we want that beach wave volume. Yes, we do. Also, we are announcing a giveaway at the end of this video. So make sure you hang tight for that. We did it, ladies. We are beach waved. Fun, flirty, messy, curly all the beach wave things. So I'm going to spray my last section with texturizing spray. If you want extra volume, we are going to tease it. I like to tease in sections as well, so I will take this bottom layer, tease under here, and then comb over it and kind of judge it around with my fingers. I will take another layer, tease that, brush it out, judge it with my fingers, the Beach Wave already has a lot of volume in and of itself, so if you're someone that has thicker hair, you probably don't need as much teasing, but I like the extra volume. You can see this side definitely has more volume. It will calm down throughout the day, but it's really nice just to have that extra oomph on the side, and it just makes your hair look fuller. We're going to tease this side now. Okay, so after I tease, sometimes the curl falls out just a tad, so I will go back in where I want the extra volume or extra wave, and this is where we kind of add some texture in too. So I will just go around the top layer and add a few curls in here or there. You can see it just creates a little bit, te a little bit more texture so my curls don't look like they all start at the same place. I like to add just a couple at the top. Okay, and now that we are done with our curls and our teasing, it is time to set the beach waves for good. We gotta lock them in. I like to use this Aribe Super Fine Strong Hairspray. It smells amazing and it holds my hair. Even though this is strong hold, it is a lighter hairspray because I don't like my hair to feel too heavy or too sticky. And I always, I will pull apart. Sometimes I throw my head upside down and shake it out. And we have our finished beach waves. As promised, we are doing a giveaway, so our winner gets to decide if you want to rock your beach waves in this super cozy tie-dye set or in our finished look. So let's get dressed really quick and put together a look that matches our beach waves. I cannot wait to see you all rocking your beach waves and I am really looking forward to picking the winner of the giveaway. Be on the lookout for more videos like this in the upcoming weeks. I'll see you guys soon.